Hi guys and welcome to today's vlog. First of all, ignore all of the little baby hairs and everything around my face. I'm having an at home, no makeup, sweats on kind of day. So today's video is a daily vlog and I thought I'd vlog because I'm packing to go to Dubai which is tomorrow. So I thought I'd do a little come pack with me sort of thing so you guys can see how I organise my stuff and what I pack and also do a little bit of holiday prep with you guys. So first bit of holiday prep started yesterday. I got my, I got my eyelashes lifted and my eyebrows tinted. So this is the finished result of my lash lift and tint and then my eyebrows have been tinted as well. Obviously, I'm gonna zoom you out again. Ooh. Now, I do already have my eyebrows microbladed, but it's been around a year since I've had them done. So yeah, I just got a little tint before my holiday just to keep them nice and topped up. Since I moved to London over a year ago now, I've been looking for a good lash technician and I haven't found one, but I finally found the most amazing salon. It's called Sapphire in Clapham. I actually found them on Instagram and I went there yesterday and she just did such a good job. I'm so, so happy. I've had some really bad and some average lifts since being in London. So yeah, just super excited that I finally found somewhere that I can go. Um, I'll put all of their details down below as well in case you guys were interested. So I'm midway through packing and I'm going to show you guys how I'm doing it. So I currently have this bag. I don't know if it's gonna be big enough. If not, I do have a bigger one, but I'm gonna go for this for now. And also it's so cute, look at the color. It's from American Tourister. Okay, so I'm gonna pack bikinis first. I've got this lounge underwear black one, which I really love, it's nice and high-waisted. Then I have this Hollister one I showed in a vlog quite recently and I remember saying I don't have any holidays coming up but I just bought it anyway. Anyway, I'm really glad I bought it because now I can wear it in Dubai. And then we've just got this plain white one again from Hollister and then this is, it's actually a swimsuit and a bodysuit which is very handy and this one is from Meshki. So I'm just going to put them in this bag just to keep everything nice and neat. There we go, first thing is in. Okay, so now sorting out like my toiletries and stuff. This is from Primark, I think. No, it's from Superdog, sorry. And I'm just gonna put all of my big bottles in here. I've got a tanning mitt to apply my gradual tan with just in case my tan starts to fade. Um, so the good thing about Tan Lux is that it doesn't transfer onto sheets and it's just like a really nice gradual moisturising tan. So yeah, I thought I'd take that just in case. Some body moisturiser, my Moroccan oil texture spray. This is really good if you want like that beachy wave kind of look. Then my little bottle of the Moroccan oil. I always put this in my hair. It's just so nice and nourishing. This is just my micellar cleansing water that I put into this little bottle. This is a new toner that I've started to use and I really, really like it. It smells so good and it's just really natural and nice. So yeah, gonna take that with me. Got some SPF, this is only 15, so I'll probably get a stronger one at some point. My Super Facialist Rose Hydrate Soothing Mist. This is so nice, so refreshing and moisturizing. So it's really good for like hot countries and stuff. And then I'm gonna take a couple of face cleansing mitts. Um, I've got another one, but it's in the wash. And then this is all of my medication. So it's in this really cute case. It's from Primark, but yeah, it's pink and sparkly. Absolutely love it. So I'll put that in there too. And then of course, shampoo and conditioner. This is kind of like my spare shampoo and conditioner. Normally I use Bondi Boost or Moroccan Oil uh, or Olaplex. But yeah, these are just the ones that I take as spares when I go away. And then of course I have my Oral-B electric toothbrush. Absolutely love this toothbrush. It's the best one I've ever had. It's literally got like so many different modes that you can go on. So like there's your normal one, then you've got one for like your tongue. It's just really cool. And then my U-Tan CBD tanning mist. This is so good just for tanning the face because on holiday my face doesn't normally tan. So yeah, I'm going to take this along with too. Okay, and then for the flight, um, I've actually taken the cleanser out uh, just in case I want to clean my skin. Some pads. This is the Liz Earl Skin Paste and it's really good for locking in moisture. So I thought that'd be really good for the plane. Obviously some hand sanitizer. I do not want to be getting any coronaviruses. <laughs> my eye cream, some eye masks, a lip mask, my Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream and some lip balm. So just all nice skincare bits to keep my skin lovely and hydrated. So I've just put all the liquids in this clear bag here and then everything else is just gonna go in here so it can be nice and neat in my bag. Oh, and this is a makeup bag from Charlotte Tilbury. How gorgeous is it? I love it, so pretty. So now for shoes. 
Um, I've got these black pair from Topshop and they're in really nice little heels, so very comfortable. And then we've got these ones from Boohoo, again, nice small heel. And I thought if I have one black, one white, that'll get me covered for all outfits in the evening. And then I have these three pairs of slider sandal thingies. These ones are new look, new look, and top shop. I mean, I definitely do not need all three, but just to be on the safe side, and it's not like they take up much room. So, so far we have bikinis, underwear, and shoes. I don't really know how to pack the shoes. There doesn't really seem to be any right way of doing it. So that will have to do for now. This is my makeup bag. It's actually from Primark. How gorgeous is it? I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to take my Chanel bronzer. This is just the best thing on holiday. You can wear it on its own or over makeup. My Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter. Again, this is really good for underneath makeup or just on its own. My iconic London sheer blush in the shade powder pink. This stuff is so nice, gives you such a natural glow. So yeah, I absolutely love this. My Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Defense. This is a moisturizer and also an SPF. So it's just a great base for foundation. My eyebrow kit, of course. Eyebrow pencil, foundation brush. I've literally just emptied out all of my makeup into here. So I'm just sort of selecting what to go in and what to keep and stuff. My Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt Kit. This is for highlighter and uh, contour. So it's good two in one. My NYX Brow Mascara. My normal mascara. So this is like my darker foundation and it's a bit more matte. So sometimes I mix this in with my normal NARS foundation. My go-to NARS tinted moisturizer. Again, it's really moisturizing and light on the skin. So it's perfect for the hot weather. My Rimmel Lasting Radiance Concealer. And of course, my trusty Jade Roller. This is so good for decreasing puffiness and stuff on the skin. Setting spray. I would love to know where the lid is for this, but I don't. So let's just hope it doesn't leak. Um, this is the Morphe Mist and it's just a really fine mist. So this is really nice to use after makeup. And then I've just added in all of my brushes and beauty sponges. So I like to keep my makeup really light on holiday and very simple. So I don't have a lot with me, but that is good. So for bags, I'm gonna take these two. So this one here is a really nice wicker basket kind of bag from Pretty Little Thing. And then this one as well, which I'm just absolutely obsessed with. It's very Hermes inspired. And it is from Azirina store. So yeah, such good quality, really, really nice bags. And they're affordable too. So yeah, I love this one. And then I'll probably take one of my designer bags uh, with me on the plane. Don't know which one yet. I'm either thinking my Chanel Trendy or my Chanel Classic Flap. Um, but yeah, we will see. Now for accessories, this hat here I think is gorgeous. It's from Primark. But the only thing is, it's just so floppy as soon as you lift it up and you end up just looking like an old lady. So I might just buy a new one at the airport. With my jewellery, I'll probably just wear whatever jewellery I have on the plane. But I'm also going to take these earrings here. So these ones are from New Look and they're just nice chunky hoop. And then these ones are just so pretty. And they're actually from Claire's Accessories, but I just think they're so gorgeous. So yeah, I'll take those with me. Probably just put those in the pocket of my makeup bag. So for perfume, I'm going to take my everyday Jo Malone perfume. But I feel like in the summer, this is better as an evening perfume rather than a day perfume. So I'm going to take this as my day perfume. But because it's quite a chunky bottle, I bought this off Amazon. And it's basically just a mini perfume bottle. So what you do is you take the lid off and then you like pump it into this bottom bit here. And then, yeah, it's just like a little travel size perfume. So really handy. I'll link this down below because they're just so great. Even if you're not going on holiday, you just want to put your perfume in your bag without it being a big bottle. So yeah, perfect little device there. We also have a fan. This is more for like my makeup when I put on like setting spray and stuff. I just find it really nice to fan it away. So yeah, I'll put that in my makeup bag. So in terms of like my hair and everything, I'm just gonna take my GHD straighteners. These are the Platinum Plus stylers. Love them, so good. Uh, my trusty Mark Hill Pick and Mix Curler. This is the one I used in that tutorial. Um, this silk scrunchie is from, I think it's CGX Lifestyle, I might be wrong so I'll double check, but um, it's just like a silk scrunchie which is so much better for your hair, and it's just really pretty, look at it. Um, and then just my Tangle Teaser as well, this is a mini one so it means I can put it in like my handbag and stuff. And that's it really, I think there'll be a hairdryer there so I'm not going to worry about bringing that. So with clothes, like I said I had all of my summer clothes in here and I just cleared out half of them. And I was actually left with very little, so I did a little Nasty Girl order last night and I'm waiting for that to come today. 
Fingers crossed it comes in the next 10 minutes because I actually do need to go. So yeah, for now I'm just going to pack the basics. So I don't normally wear pyjamas in bed, I normally just wear um, like nothing. So I'm just going to take these, they kind of as pyjamas, also kind of as just comfy clothes. So these shorts are from Saski Collection and this is Adidas of course. Okay, so I'm now off to go get my nails done finally. This is my running errands outfit. I'm also going to get my phone camera fixed. Anyway, I'm going to leave you guys here because... I'm in a rush and I'm not gonna have time to vlog. Bye. Okay, so I am now home. It is the evening. I've had my nails done. I got this really nice sort of like focus. What colour is that? I do not know how to explain this colour, but it's just really nice and I thought it was kind of summery too. So yeah, super happy with that. So my parcel didn't arrive and as I was walking to the nail salon, this guy was parked up and he had loads of parcels in his car, so I knocked on his window and I was like, any chance he got a parcel for Kate Hutchins and he was like yeah I do so he gave me my nasty girl parcel so that was very very lucky and I was very happy so yeah it's been a productive day so I'm now going to pack my clothes have a shower fake tan so I'm all ready for my flight in the morning so I'm just trying everything on and this dress is from nasty girl how cute is it I do feel like a little girl though when I wear dresses but still it's just gorgeous okay so I've like lined up all my trousers and shorts these mesh key shorts top shop shorts Hollister pants um like these white long trousers from nasty girl top shop mom jeans I've got loads of little bodies from like Zara top shop mesh key and then these are all like my dresses and stuff I'm only going for five days I don't know why I'm packing so much but I prefer to be safe than sorry now friday and i woke up early this morning fake tanned which is why i look so dark it won't be this dark when i wash it off i don't have to leave until around three o'clock so i'm gonna quickly pop to the local high street and pick up some bits from boots and also send all of the parcels in this bag off to the post office okay so i've just been to boots to pick up some last minute bits we have razor blades by the way men's razor blades are just so much better than women's i don't know why um some toothpaste some floss sticks these in case i'm really hungry and need a quick snack some deodorant chewing gum always good to be stocked up on chewing gum cleansing wipes this isn't really for my face it's more just like if i want to freshen up during the day and of course dry shampoo and i've just had the most amazing delivery of elemis i've never tried their stuff before so i'm super excited to try it i probably won't bring it to dubai just because I don't want to try anything new whilst I'm on holiday, but we have some hydration juice, the lavender toner, night oil, day cream, resurfacing pads, I think these are like exfoliating, and then an exfoliating face wash. So yeah, I can't wait to try all of this and i feel very lucky that they've sent me it because i've heard such great things so i've just had some breakfast and i was watching youtube so i thought oh i'm gonna have a look at what other people do for come pack with me's because i've actually never watched one so um i started watching a couple and now i'm like panicking because i'm thinking my one is so different like i've just done it really casual vlog style and just how i would pack like i haven't done anything special or super organized i've just sort of rolled the camera as I've packed so I'm sorry if this video is really chaotic and um different to your normal compact with me but yeah this is me keeping it real so we're just gonna have to roll with it so I was gonna use my Louis Vuitton bag as my cabin bag but I'm thinking I actually don't have much to take I might just use this one instead which is my long shot bag so obviously I've got my passport my cards my laptop I'm gonna have like some chargers and stuff this is my like flight toiletry bag and then just got some bits in here too and of course my keys and then just anything else last minute like my headphones and stuff i've also just had a really last minute pretty little thing a parcel they actually sent this to me super last minute i've already packed some of these bits but i am mostly packed and i've already got like double the outfits i need so yeah i'm not sure how much i'm actually going to take but i think there's some cute accessories in here so yeah i'll show you guys oh my god look how cute this is so this is just a little co-ord really beautiful sort of sage khaki color 
and then I got these sliders which are just so cute and then this hat too and I just think all together this makes such a beautiful outfit perfect for like the beach and stuff so yeah I'm super happy about this it's also this lovely like linen very fresh material and then I just got this charcoal grey hoodie for the airport I also picked up these white floaty trousers for like the beach and stuff um they're very see-through I think they're supposed to be see-through though because they're supposed to go over like swimwear the next thing on my job list is to put these into these little bags because they make your clothes smell amazing so yeah I'm just gonna do a couple of those There we go, how cute are these? So I'm just gonna pop these in two, them sort of around. Maybe I've done too many, oh well. Also for the hat, I've stuffed it with clothes so it keeps its shape nice and well. Okay, so I am all packed. So in this right hand side here, I've got like makeup, toiletries, bags, shoes, accessories, that sort of thing. And then on this side, I've got all of my clothes. So pretty simple really. And then for hand luggage, I've just got my Chanel Trendy and my Longchamp bag, but this can easily fit into there if I need it to, which is perfect. Okay, so my packing is done. I'm all ready. I've ordered my Bolt to the airport. Oh, and by the way, I have a code for Bolt. It's just Kate Hutchins. So if you want money off your ride, then use that. I've got that like panicky feeling that I've forgotten something, but I'm sure I haven't. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was all over the place. It's been a busy few days. I'm trying to pack and vlog is just too much for my brain to handle, I think. So yeah, I'll quickly show you my airport outfit. Here's my airport outfit. So pretty little thing, Topshop, my McQueen trainers and my Chanel Trendy CC. Anyway, I hope you all really enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Bye.